than a normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, we got Bundy the air compressor running here. Why are you asking? We're building a barn. <laughs> uh, this is what Dad done yesterday when Rob and I were gone to get that chopper for the 1682. I'll put the link to that video here. I think I can link someone else's video. And yeah, so the walls are ready to be stood, standed, whatever you want to say. <laughs> um, so I'm just letting Bundy air up. And then we can use the air nailer. We're going to stand this up and nail a couple support boards to it so it doesn't fall over. And then uh, toenail all of it into the, uh, the foundation. So. That is kind of the plan for right now, so I'll talk to you again here in a few. Anyway, the Bundy air compressor is gone because Antoine was done with the portable one. And I got to mark centers. <laughs> That's what you get, sneak attack. <laughs> Try to get through, you can't. I got infinite ammo, you're in trouble. <laughs> They'd have been done two weeks ago. That's if they didn't all have the COVID though. <laughs> been here helping much so I haven't been videoing very much so first rafter of dad and Amanda's barn <laughs> the 400 horse self-propelled air compressor What's that? That's what I thought. <laughs> there, one down and 15 more to go. So this end's gonna have a big sliding door on it. The whole end can open up. And then what did you design then? Four pens in here in a room? Four pens in a room? I don't remember. Oh, you're a lot of help. You want pens in your barn? I thought we were making a house for Antoine. That's his at the end over there. That That's little how room. We're closing it in. Oh, I get it. And if he's a good boy, we'll put a heater in the winter. 
if you'll be Otherwise lucky. Otherwise, he has to burn straw. Uh, you just got to go cuddle up with one of the cows. Or one of his town girls. Town girls. That's what they said he bought was a Bolaris powered brass pole for the town girls. <laughs> Anyways, it's a little over 60 feet long. And uh, there's going to be four. I forget exactly now the sizes. He's got it all wrote on a piece of paper. But four pens. And then we're going to have a room here. And there's the man door, and then this will be another sliding door. And the chute is going to go there. And there'll be an alley all the way down to the end, and then the pens. With each one having access into that alley. And then everything can come apart and be taken out when uh, it needs to be cleaned or etc, etc. Same with the chute can be taken out when you don't need it in here. And then uh, there's going to be a little room here. To warm up a calf and dry them off or whatever and it'll have uh, everything in it a little uh, mini fridge with the uh, all the medicines and needles etc and the little hot box and what have you like i said there's the the man door and then there's the uh, the other sliding door for the chute so then we're going to put some windows over there just uh, plexiglass windows to have a little bit of natural light and then we're gonna power it up and have running water and everything else but that's to come we got to get the building built first so I guess we'll talk to you in a few the house of Ivan <laughs> How many houses have you built before? Oh, a basement. A basement? Help build a wooden basement. Auntie Francine's. Oh, that's about the same as building a building. <laughs> Pretty close. There we go. Strapping on all the walls are done. Strapping on the front walls done. And we started on the roof. But, Antoine needs his truck brought to the hay bind, so you'll see that in the, in the next video, probably before you see this or whatever, but... <laughs> anyway, figured I'd show you that right quick while I'm standing here. Oh, they're all leaving now. Don't go out there. Do you see them? Alright, many, many months later now. <laughs> or a month later than the last time we were out here. Oh. That looks quite a lot different, I would think, than how it looked there before. <laughs> I think we were just putting strapping on last time I made a clip. So, Dad got all the tin on, and then he used uh, Bundy the air compressor, and that tank, and used the, uh, the paint gun, and some red barn paint, and white paint, and I guess it wasn't even barn paint, it was just trim clad. And there you go, painted. So now we're just screwing the uh, real heavy tin on the door here. Slides. We'll talk to you in a minute. Well, it's many, many, many months later since the start of this video, but I think we better better wrap her up before I go and lose the footage of the vidges there. So, undo this fancy gate latch here because I got to go in there and get the air nailer of course he's gonna come over here too smart for his own good that red guy but here's the barn pretty well done dad built the whole thing himself he's never built a building like this or fuck all in his life I mean he's redone a bit of stuff in the house and stalls in the old barn but Never built a building. Uh, let's see if I can turn the lights on or not over here. So bear with me for a minute. Never mind, I guess the power is not plugged in anymore. So anyway, we have all the lights in. Um, just got to wire up switches and a fuse panel. And then... Uh, there's going to be, so that's a big sliding door there. 
that whole end opens up and it's big enough that the 4020 can come in here to clean the manure out after. Or the little bobcat. We gotta go around yet. This is a bunch of used tin filling all the old screw holes with some silicone, but that's pretty minor. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be an alley down this side and the chute will be out front with that chute extension which you will see in probably the next video or however I upload this, but uh, through that man door, there's gonna be an enclosed little heated room. So if you got a calf born early or it's really shitty out or whatever, you can put them in there to warm them up in a hot box and we'll put a little mini fridge with all our medications and everything in there. And then out here, there's gonna be five stalls. This is 77 by 16. I believe. I could be mistaken. It's been a while since we've measured it. Like I said, Dad built the whole thing. Started on this at haying time and he was working on it through harvest, so I never really helped him do too much, but... Uh, yeah. So, this is the uh, completed product anyway. And then this is also a sliding door here. Maybe. There we go. <laughs> so then you'll slide that open and animals into the uh, chute extension and chute and trailer or dividing gate if you're separating animals or whatever you may be doing. So anyway, that's the, uh, the barn build anyway. I'll uh, make sure I get some more when we do the interior here, build the stalls, and put plywood on. We're going to just have plywood about yay high so that cows can't shit all over the inside of the studs. And that's the plan anyway, so not a milking parlor by any means, but when you're calving in end of March, early April, and it's shitty out, and you've got a few animals close, be able to put uh, five or six of them in here, and that'll be really nice. So anyway... I guess. Thank you much for watching this long drawn out affair. She hit the like button, comment, subscribe for more. And we'll talk to all you guys in the next one.